Greetings, friends and listeners. I'm Jerry Ogles of the Anglican Orthodox Church. This is another in a series of short stories taken from my recently published book entitled Contemplations on the Ways of the Lord, which is available from our national office in Statesville, North Carolina. Today's story is titled The Bird and the Pendant. I hope you will enjoy. And now for today's story, The Bird and the Pendant. Several days ago, my wife was preparing to depart on a trip to Korea to visit relatives. After loading her bags on my truck, she came out with her coat draped over her arm. About halfway to Atlanta, where she would catch her flight, she discovered that a cherished pendant was missing from her coat lapel. It was a pendant with many brilliant stones mounted on its face, and one which had been a gift from her mother, who is now deceased. I assured my wife that it had probably dropped off on the lawn, and that I would find it later. I forgot about it for the moment. Several days after returning home, I saw that a bird had been killed on my lawn, apparently by a cat that patrols my grounds. I wondered how the cat was able to catch the bird on the open lawn. After a few days, I decided to remove the dead bird. When I moved its little body, I discovered the pendant underneath lying on the grass. The truth of the situation slowly dawned on me. Birds are attracted to shiny objects, even though shiny objects hold no benefit for the bird. The bird had become engrossed with the pendant and was oblivious to all that was about him. The cat, seeing the bird at a moment of unguarded care, slowly and stealthily crept upon him and murdered him. The cat was not hungry. It is simply in the nature of the cat to kill that which he can. We're much like that bird. We are attracted by the shiny lights of the city by social acceptance, by things which can hold no benefit or help for us. We're counseled by God in the first book of Peter, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, 1 Peter 5, 8. The devil is just like that cat. He wants to murder you. When we become infatuated with the cares and shiny apparitions of this world, we are exposing ourselves needlessly to the designs of him who would seek our destruction. The adversary has no use for you other than to murder you. So adhere to those things which are proven, which are true, which are beautiful, which are eternal, and the adversary will never catch you defenseless on the lawn of life. Good day.